they start on the ground with McCaffrey. And he's got some space here. And he gets this to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. He's able to rip off 32 on that one. It's a first down. Opening quarter, his opening carry of the game, and I think they'll give it to him a few more times, as they should. You're exactly right about that, but that type of a run, you want to repeat it many times until they show signs of stopping it. I think he did his visualization exercise before this one, and they're paying off. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. They went right back to him, but he pretty much had nowhere to go on that play. Yeah, the previous carry looked pretty good. That one, maybe he was a little tired. I don't know. Yeah, maybe he should have tapped out and had a second back come in and maybe make that run. Who knows? On second down, McCaffrey. And he is going to lose yardage here. That's going to go down as a loss of five, and it brings up third down. Well, that play was over before it even got started. Thanks for nothing, huh? Sets up a very difficult third down call now. And not an easy spot here. They'll be in search of 13 yards to try to pick up the first. Third down, here's McCaffrey. And he'll get it inside the 40 to the 39. Fourth down try, here's Purdy. The first catch of the game for George Kittle. And he is gonna have the Niners first down as they wind up with a gain of 11 there on fourth down. 11 yards on the pickup, and it'll be a San Francisco first down. Clock rolling as we hit the midway point of this first quarter. On first down, this is McCaffrey. And he'll get this one down to about the 27. Jamin Davis there to bring him down. No doubt about it, a really nice job there by the defense, not allowing him to get to the perimeter. But that means your defensive ends, your outside linebackers, the guys that you pay big money to to sack the quarterback, they also have to have interest in the running game as well. And they did a nice job there of holding the point of attack and not giving ground. Two runs in a row, but only two yards to show for it. Defensively, we always know that he is tough at run support, and I think the way that he gets there is he understands what an offense is going to do before the ball's even snapped. A great job of scouting prior to the game, then reading, reacting, and taking the right path to the ball carrier. Now throwing on third down there, but he cannot connect. A third down, he tried to stay in bounds, did all he could. He caught it, but was led a little bit too far. Yeah, and that's always difficult, isn't it? Because you know half of your body is trying to stay behind while the other half is reaching out, trying to catch the football. The top half worked, it was the bottom half that was in question. And that is no good. And this will remain a scoreless game. That opening drive looked good for a moment there, but they'll wind up being turned away thanks to the missed field goal. And those especially hurt when you come into a game on the road. You're trying to get things to go your way early, and now you suffer a setback right out of the gate. They'll start on the ground with Gibson, and he'll get this up to about the 40. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. That's a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. Hang in there now. Hang in there now. Robinson will try to pick it up. And he's going to have a first down as he's brought down at the 44-yard line. The way this game is going, the way that they possess the ball on the other side of the field, you go three and out here, you might not see the ball again until the second quarter. Now they'll throw it. Wentz. And that one drops down incomplete. Good coverage there. Second down. And just one tick to go, so this will obviously be the final play of this first quarter. 
On second down, a run with Gibson. And he'll be taken down as that will take us to the end of the first quarter of play. No score after one on EA Sports. So seven yards from the first down here as they come up to the line of scrimmage. And now the first throw for the backup quarterback. That's complete. Terry McLaurin with it. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. Nice third down conversion and even 20 yards. So from inside Niner territory now, this is first and 10 at the 32-yard line. I give up the middle to Gibson. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. And this will move the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the 49ers' 14. There's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. Straight ahead, Gibson. And he's swallowed up right near the line of scrimmage. Javon Kinlaw, the big D tackle there to bring him down. And the big fella stuffed that one up in a big way. I think doubling him has to be a priority because you can't move up to the next level if you don't take care.